Welcome back everybody. Thanks for joining me again. Sam the Electrician here talking about Western Independence and Alberta separation. Uh, I got some interesting news today in my uh, inbox. I'm going to just read uh, right from the phone. I don't usually do this, but this is a pretty interesting piece of news. So uh, the People's Party of Canada uh, emailed me today to tell me that uh, an independent um, but affiliated um, organization is trying to get started in Alberta here. They're gathering signatures to register as a provincial party and uh, they're going to be called the People's Party of Alberta. So that's very interesting. We'll see how they do. Um, I don't want to speak too much for them before I know too much about it. So I'm just going to read quickly what, uh, what they said and then uh, have a little chat about that after. So it says, fellow grassroots Albertan, the People's Party of Canada has inspired hundreds of thousands of Canadians over the past year and a half with our nationalist anti-establishment message. So much so that some of our members and former candidates in Alberta have decided to launch a new provincial party inspired by their PPC experience and by PPC principles and policies. The People's Party of Alberta is in the process of collecting signatures to be registered and growing their membership and volunteer base. You can visit their website at www.peoplespartyofalberta.com. As a PPC member residing in Alberta, I thought you might be interested in hearing about this. I want to make it clear that the PPC and PPA are two distinct and independent parties. The PPC is not going to intervene in provincial issues and not going to take sides in provincial politics. But we are happy that PPC... P sorry, PPC supporters, were inspired to launch a provincial parties with similar values. The more people defend these values in Canada at every level, the better. And that's from uh, Daniel Tyree, Executive Director of the People's Party of Canada. Uh, then they have like a little presser thing here. It says, uh, People's Party of Alberta, Alberta first, uh, equality, a better deal for, for all. Alberta should lead the way to opening up the current constitution. We need a constitution that works for all and represents a new Canada of today. Alberta can be a strong voice for freedom and constitutional reform. Uh, their next uh, little thing is employment. Work Alberta. Alberta has been the place for many to find jobs from all over Canada for many years. We now have 180,000 Albertans out of work. It is time to put Albertans to work first. And then their third little pillar thing here is ethical. No millionaires on public dime. For too long, friends of governments have collected large paychecks with public money. No more will there be millionaires with the public purse. We plan a public sector salary slash benefits cap for all board appointments and employees. The People's Party of Alberta is working to ensure that grassroots government does not die. We will keep established parties accountable, work alongside our neighbors, friends, and fight for our families. So, um, one of the last things it says here is autonomy. What can Alberta really do? Alberta has the right to have a provincial police force, Alberta pension plan, Alberta work first program, Alberta revenue agency, and we can challenge the constitution. So, um, basically, it sounds like they're starting a provincial party to really push the firewall letter. Um, so, my first thought right off the bat is uh, congratulations to the NDP who are going to win the next election in Alberta. Uh, with all these different parties now and all the different uh, right-wing parties vying for all the votes, we're going to split the vote again for sure. Um, not for sure. I mean, everybody probably when it comes close to election time, they'll get the jitters and they'll go running back to the UPC probably, uh, the Federalist uh, Uniting Party and uh, Jason Kenney probably will get a second term if everyone on the right is uh, remembers what happened under the NDP. Um, like I've said, uh, it's going to have to get a lot worse, believe it or not, before it gets better and before people actually are motivated to actually... Um, put their money where their mouth is and, and move towards independence and freedom. Um, there's also the independent Alberta Independence Party, which is a registered provincial party that wants full independence for Alberta. Uh, they're a provincial level party. Um, don't forget, Wexit is a federal level party, so they're not going to have, other than their cultural influence, uh, they, they're, they're not going to steal votes from anyone. Uh, perhaps that's what Peter Downing uh, is aiming for by going straight to the federal level of politics. 
maybe he doesn't want to be held responsible for splitting the vote and allowing the NDP to get back in this province, um, which is highly likely if there's more than one right-wing party, uh, viable right-wing parties running. Uh, and then there's the Freedom Conservative Party, which uh, I forget. I haven't looked them up in a while. I haven't heard anything about them. I, I forget if they're federal or provincial. Uh, so somebody can fill me in in the comments. Maybe uh, I should probably take a look at their website again. Uh, but with the PPA uh, perhaps becoming a party, I mean, this is very early. They just emailed today. I don't know how many signatures they have. But, uh, you know, that's just my first thought that, oh, here we go again. Um, but, you know, political change doesn't happen easy. Uh, you got to, what's the saying? You got to break a couple eggs to make an omelet. So, uh, yeah, it's very interesting um, topic. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, let me know who you're going to throw your weight behind. It's still early, it's still three years till the election, three and a bit more years till the election. So uh, lots of time for all this to sort out. But as I've said with all this stuff is that eventually we're going to have to unite uh, it's the only way to get anything done is to unite and um, all talk with the same voice uh, to uh, actually push towards freedom. Take it easy.